his prayers while performing his two rakat prayer. He does not talk with himself. Some ideas come to him, that's a different story. But he intentionally does not have soliloquy. He does not talk with himself. He concentrates on his own, he concentrates on his prayers. Then Allah the Almighty will forgive his previous sins. There is another tradition, it's a lengthy tradition, so I'll only read out the translation. This tradition explains how the Prophet used to fast while, uh, used to uh, perform ablution while fasting. It's a chapter, the statement of the Prophet, peace be upon him, whoever performs ablution should not, should put water in his nose and then blow it out. The Prophet, peace be upon him, did not differentiate between the fasting and non-fasting person in this respect. Al-Hassan said, there is no harm for a fasting person to use snuff if it does not reach the throat or to smear his eyes with kohl. Atta said, if a fasting person, after rinsing his mouth with water, empties his mouth of water, there is no harm unless he swallows his saliva. And what is left in his mouth? And he should not chew gum, for if he swallows his saliva, I do not say that it will break his fast, but it is disapproved. And if during the putting of water in the nose and then blowing it out, some water enters the throat and he is unable to bring it back, there is no harm in that. If some drop of water goes in, in unintentionally, it will not break the fast, but to this tradition. Similarly, there is a tradition about vomiting. Sami Abu Huraira, the Allah, no. Umar bin Hakam bin Suban, Sami Abu Huraira, the Allah, no. Is a ka fala yufter. In the Mayukhiju, Wala Yulij. Narrated Abu Huraira. If a person, if a fasting person vomits, that does not break his fast. For while vomiting, he expels something and does not swallow anything. But if he swallows, what he has vomited, then this fast will be broken. And, according to certain jurists, if he vomits intentionally, in that case too, the fast will be broken. Uh, here is a fast. Uh, here is a, a very, very important tradition. I think I should have read it right in the beginning. But, uh, it's regarding the importance of uh, the month of Ramadan and regarding the importance of fasting in the month of Ramadan. An Abi Huraira, Rafahu, Man aftara yawman min Ramadan min ghayri illatin wala maradin لم يقضه الصيام الظهر وإن صامه 